Hi everyone, today we're doing a presentation on Van Gogh's Bed by Jane Flanders. There's the artwork that this poem is based off of. Word choice and order. Each stanza of the poem starts out with a simple adjective such as orange or clumsy, and then the rest of the stanza elaborates on the adjective. For example, after Flanders says that Van Gogh's bed is orange, she compares it to Cinderella's pumpkin coach in the sun. Uh, for reading and reaction question number one, Flanders' main focus of the poem was Van Gogh's bed. She describes the color, the narrow frame, the mattress, and details about how they were built and beaten. Flanders also describes the scene of the room and how the sunlight fills the lonely room. In contrast to the main focus of the poem, Flanders ignores certain aspects of the painting, such as the portraits on the walls, the items on the side table, and the two out of place chairs, and the hung up clothing. This leaves the reader wondering the significance of these items and why they were ignored. However, all the items inside the room enhance the feeling of loneliness and depression. The poet's voice in this poem is passive. She does not introduce herself into it and instead focuses on the titular bed featured in the artwork and does not write utilizing persona. The, po the poet, however, does speak of the bed in a familiar and friendly way, even describing the bed itself as friendly. For reading and reaction question number two, um, Flanders' purpose of writing the poem is to express her emotions and highlight certain characteristics. Her depressed tone hints to Van Gogh's serious mental illness and the loneliness surrounding his life. The quote, the memory of happiness alludes to depression, possible suicidal thoughts. Um, Flanders' poem conveys a depressed tone. She uses words alone and empty so, to suggest the artist is deprived of social influence. Van Gogh is isolated and lacks emotional support from others. The bed is described as old and beat up. I believe Flander describes the bed in this way to highlight and symbolize Van Gogh's diminishing quality of life. Reading and reacting question number three. The poem offers us a look into what Vincent Van Gogh was like as a person. He is described as clumsy but friendly, which suggests he had good intentions but often messed things up. It also highlights the theme of isolation in the art by conveying that he sleeps alone and his room being empty. However, the poem fails to detail anything about the busy area surrounding the bed. There seems to be a lot of room for interpretation for the portraits on the wall and above the bed. Who are they and why are they in the room? The poem does not acknowledge other aspects of the room. The painting also has a strong use of cool colors, which can be deciphered to be symbolic of sadness or loneliness. However, the poem does not explore the meaning behind the colors in the painting by Van Gogh. For the imagery aspect, um, the imagery used to describe the bedroom is filled with adjectives and similes. These quotes help to uh, help the reader visualize the emptiness of the room, like is empty, morning light pours in like wine. Um, Flanders consistently compares the bed to different objects like Cinderella's coach and the sun. So the use of similes here enhances the understanding of what is going on in brings the painting to life initially. For reading and reacting question number four, the poem describes the bed as empty and that there is a memory of happiness. This insinuates that the owner, Van Gogh, has left and has been gone for some time, or at the very least has, or at the very least the positive emotions he once felt in the past are gone. Where has he gone? And if he still sleeps in the bed, why are there only memories of happiness? The overall theme of the poem is re reflection and recollection. The way the poet describes the bed is, is, is as if she's recalling events that have long since passed. There's nothing now but the bed and the memories it once held. Reading and reacting question number five. We agree with the speaker's interpretation um, we think it's acceptable and accurate because the tone correlates with Van Gogh's mental illness and depression. 
Um, the poet identifies details of the room and enhances their meaning. The bedroom clearly belongs to a messy person who has a lot of thoughts and does not have a clear headspace. And Flanders' description of the bed is fitting to the painting. In terms of figures of speech, she uses similes, mild alliteration, and personification. So for similes, she compares uh, the color of the bed to Cinderella's coach and the sun. For alliteration, you can tell um, the beginning of words like tossing between two and bumpily and ball. And with personification, uh, she gives the bed uh, human characteristics like it carried him and is clumsy but friendly. And here's our work cited. Thank you.